What's up guys, Ruski Tech here, and welcome back to another tech review. I make tech reviews weekly, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified every time I drop a new video. In this video, we're gonna put a pair of budget-friendly gaming headphones to the test. About a week ago, a company named Easy SMX reached out to me on Twitter and asked me if I would check out one of the products and give a review on it. I've never heard of this company before, and after doing some research, I found out they specialize in low cost gaming equipment. I mean seriously, the majority of their products are priced under $30. They sent me a pair of their Easy SMX Cool 2000 headphones and asked me to give an honest review on them. The Easy SMX Cool 2000 are over ear gaming headphones and they are compatible with PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Right off the bat, they're bigger than I thought they would be. I'm not sure why I expected them to be smaller, but compared to my Astro A10s, these guys are pretty huge. You can fit about one and a half A10s in this headset. As far as aesthetics are concerned, these things are pretty fresh. The ear plate finish is clean, and the vibrant blue lighting on the side definitely gives it a modern edge that I can really get behind. RGB lighting is a major plus for me, and these headphones almost hit that bar. Unfortunately, they don't change color, but again, especially for that low price point, by looks alone, they have exceeded my expectations. Now, let's move on to the comfort. Personally, I would prefer a headband that I can adjust and customize for my head size. They feel noticeably loose without this feature, and I definitely need my headphones to be secure. Aside from the sizing issues, the entirety of the set is actually quite comfortable. The ear cuffs are well padded, they go over my ears no problem, and offer quality isolation. Aside from the physical characteristics, the Cool 2000 headphones offer stereo sound and a noise canceling mic. I have to say, I was actually very impressed by the sound quality. I would even argue that the bass and overall quality of sound is better than my Astro A10s, which is crazy when you consider the fact that you're getting higher quality sound for half the price. As I mentioned before, RGB lighting is a big thing for me. While I was bummed that the headset lighting only came in one color, I found out that you can program different light effects onto the earpieces. You can even turn the mic blue. What do you guys think? Do you prefer RGB or no RGB? Have you ever bought a product because it has RGB in it? Let me know down in the comments. So in summation, we've got this sleek looking gaming headset that offers higher sound quality than my Astro A10s at half the price point. I wasn't completely sold on the lighting effects, but that's more of a personal preference than anything. The lack of a headband adjustment was definitely a setback as I would assume it would be more noticeable for somebody with a smaller head. But overall, it's a comfortable option for those of us looking to game without breaking the bank. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below for those of you interested in checking it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Peace out.